everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to try this forever young stamping starter kit from maniology I saw an ad on Facebook for it and I thought it would be fun to try it arrived pretty quickly it comes from Hawaii which is why I have this little pineapple I think it's a gummy I'm not sure what it is I haven't opened up to really um, check but if you have gotten this and this pineapple um, have you figured out what it is <laughs> let me know <laughs> but it looks really neat it's a kit for stamping on your nails you have these patterns and some nail polish and we're gonna see what I can manage here so I'm opening up oh I have two stencils it looks like There's this one I like the little swirl some neat little patterns there and here's this one. Okay. I guess I gotta figure out which one I wanna try. All right, here's the guide. I think this is gonna tell me how I'm supposed to do this. I'm gonna put this to the side. This is the little scraper. Like you brush it on the stencil and you scrape it off. And so this is a little scraper that you're going to use, or that I'm going to use. And your stamping blocks over here. Oh, they're in there pretty good. And they remind me a lot of just um, rubber stamping blocks. And I have two colors, blue and white. And I didn't get to choose the colors, it just kind of came with it. I want this box out of the way. Okay. So, I had to peel the protective blue film off my plate before I stamp. Alright, so which one do I want to do? I'm going to do... I think I'm going to try the zigzag pattern right here. I just notice they have words and stuff that you can do too. Okay, peeling off the film. That's a little satisfying, wasn't it? Oh, you can see a lot clearer now. Different patterns. And I'm supposed to brush it on and then scrape the excess off. I better put a piece of paper underneath this. I just realized. There you go. Put a cardboard underneath here and I'm going to kind of work into the side here because I'm sitting on over here. It says move quickly. Okay using the squishy part of my stamper. I better open it up and see. I'm trying to read ahead so I know everything I need to be doing here. Oh. Okay so this is just a stamper with a lid. It's, so, it's clear so I cannot show you. And this part here is squishy. Okay. It feels like a gummy bear or something. So that's what I'm going to... After I scrape it, I'm going to put it on here, pick up the nail polish, and put it on my nails. That's the plan anyways. And I'm definitely going to start with blue because that's what you guys are going to be able to see the best. Press the design on your nail pad using a smooth rolling motion. Oh, no smudge top coat. Okay, I don't have the top coat. It didn't come with the um, starter kit. Okay, so let's let's try it out. Try to move this closer. Do blue first. Oh, it's a short, it's a short brush. Alright, we're going to put it right over here. My nail is not this big, so I'm not sure if this is going to, if I'm doing it well enough. Okay. Scrape it. Okay, 
kind of see it kind of bulked up on there. All right, using my gummy bear stamper, gonna pick it up. Oh, it kind of like sprawled over. Hmm, didn't pick up too well. All right. I'm trying to make it flat so you guys can see, but also, oh, okay. Okay, no, that didn't. You can even see through there that nothing picked up on the stamper. But if it did, it would have worked. Except I have it all the way down to here because my nail is not that big as the pattern. I'm going to try another one. So there's, there's that. That's what I came up with. Alright, let's try it again. I'm going to try again. I won't give up. It doesn't really tell me a way to clean off the stamper. Okay, so I did it wrong. I'm reading the instructions and I did it wrong when I picked it up. I wasn't supposed to like smash down on it. I was just supposed to like lightly pick it up. So let's try again. I'm going to turn this around. Because I want to try this little... It's hard to show you, I'm sorry. I'm going to try one of these little flower patterns right here. Only because, like I said, my nails are not as big as this, and I I can't seem to only do part of it. So I'm gonna try this um, little tr looking pattern right here. So I'm gonna go back to blue, so you can see it. in the background making noise. Okay. Oops. Get nail polish everywhere. Okay. I have that. I'm gonna scrape it again. Put that here. And I'm gonna lightly pick it up this time. I'm not going to lightly pick it up. It didn't pick it up at all. No, nope. it's not picking it up at all. Okay, and also do not scrape off too much polish or repeatedly speeds up the drying process. So play with different pressure when you roll the stamp or the design. Okay. I'm going to... Alright, so I'm going to try these stars there because apparently you're not supposed to scrape too hard either. So, third time's a charm. Let's see. I'm going to use a white one this time. Make sure it's fully covered. Let's scrape it. Not too hard. Okay. Well, look at that. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to readjust my focus. Look, I picked up the stars. So let's see if I can apply it to my finger. Oops. It didn't all go on. And some of it peeled right off. Hmm. I have a little bit left. I can try another. Mm -mm. It dried too fast. I can't get it to come off the stamper. You gotta move really fast when you're doing this. So, I'm gonna do one and try it fast. Apparently, doing too much talking in between and not enough actually moving. So, my stamper is also like smushing really easily into the box and it's starting to get uneven. So, I don't know, I tried to clean it off a little bit. Alright, one more time, right? Let's try these little dots right here. Right here. 
We're gonna do it quickly. Move fast. This one takes a lot of tip polish, actually. Alright. Do that. Scrape. Stamp. I got the stamp to work. And dot. Oh, hey! I got it to work. <laughs> I have a new set of problems. Oh, look. It kind of went everywhere. But, I got it to work. So a little bit of nail polish remover and I'll have a nice little spotted finger. There's one more thing I want to try. And that is I want to try doing a blue base and then stamping white on top of it. So, I'm going to change the stencil. So I'm not even working with this one anymore. Clean this off real quick. I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. Things are cleared up a little bit. I am going to attempt the blue base with a white stamp. So, it dries really fast. That's one plus thing about this. It does dry fast. I gotta put a thin layer of the blue so it does dry fast enough. You need to make sure it's completely dry before you attempt to stamp on this. Otherwise it's going to pick your... When you go to try to stamp on top of it, it'll pick the whole nail polish off. So, I'm going to let that dry. I'll be right back. And let's try stamping. Okay, I'm back. It took about five minutes for this to dry, which wasn't too bad. Hopefully it's dried enough. And I'm going to try stamping these hearts and X's on top of it. And remember, i got to work fast. So let's just see how it goes. Okay, yeah, that turned out cute. What a neat thing. Once you get the hang of it, remember to work fast. That's what I have figured out. You gotta work fast. I wouldn't mind some more colors. The company says to use their, their nail polish for best results. So at the moment, I only have the two. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, obviously I need to still clean up my skin around it. But yeah. Alright, so my last one. This is my, you see my progression. Here's my first one. My second one, not so great. But then, I figure it out. I even layer it. <laughs> Let me do something on the pinky real quick. I think on the pinky, I'm going to put sweet. I want to put some words on there, see if it stands out enough. Don't scrape too hard. Move pretty quickly. And I'm sorry. I'll show you the result when I'm done. Okay, well, alright, so this says sweet on it. It's upside down. I'm sorry. It's right side up to me, upside down to you. And I mean, it's not clear, and probably I need to clean the stamp a little bit more in order for it to work. But, yeah. I didn't notice how well this matches my ring, actually. But This is definitely a fun thing to try. I will put a link below so you can try out your own, and let me know what you think. I also want to know if you got different colors than the blue and the white, so... It turned out pretty good. Alright. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you subscribe because I always have fun things going on. Um, not just on my fingers, but also in my kitchen and on my craft table. So, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also, don't forget to have a great day. Bye!